Hi, this is Yvonne, and I'm here with Jessica Taylor, who is one of my favorite people in Lebanon because she has such wonderful things in her store, and I get to go and look at all that eye candy from time to time. That cute little shop on Main Street in Lebanon. Tell us a little bit about the award you just won, Jessica, from the Main Street Committee. Um, we feel very honored to have just received the Main Street Award. This was the first one that they've given out mm -hmm. um, for... We redid our entire building. It's mm -hmm. almost 200 years old. And so we repainted, tuck pointed it, and just gave it a little facelift. And um, we take up a big chunk of downtown on the side mm -hmm. there. So we have really been trying to get things moving again with mm -hmm. the Lebanon Main Street. We've mm -hmm. started to put some displays in Henning's Windows mm -hmm. restaurant across the street. Right. Um, all kinds of new businesses are opening and redoing things mm -hmm. and updating and it just seems that Main Street is really starting to come back alive. So Fantastic. So they gave you an appreciation award. Yes. Um, we have business has been great. We've been um, very fortunate. We have a lot of um, local support as well as we have a huge number of people that have been coming from surrounding counties. Yes, and I also noticed that you have another store now. We do. We've it's, expanded. We have. Um, E-Town um, has been open almost two years now mm -hmm. and it's right across the street from um, Hardin Memorial Hospital. Okay, fantastic. So all of our viewers here in Lebanon, Marion County can get out there and that, that Bullock County down that way and uh, look at all the wonderful things that you have down there as well. Is it pretty much the same um, same merchandise, same idea that uh, behind it? Our E-Town location is primarily clothing mm -hmm. where um, it's only about a thousand square feet. Mm -hmm. Lebanon is about four times the size. So we have more um, home gifts. Um, we have two monogramming machines now. Um, we do a ton of personalization. We're doing the vinyl decals. Lots of new, exciting. We've got a lot of it laid out here, um, the printing and stuff. So we do the majority of that and we run our website out of the Lebanon location. So we have a lot more employees in Lebanon mm -hmm. and just a much bigger space. Okay. Now, I remember when you first got started, you had that little storefront there, mm -hmm. the one little room. Yes, ma'am. And, and then you moved a little further back and a little further. And now you're even upstairs. Yes. So yes. you have a loft. I know. I remember <laughs> interviewing with you yes. when, before we even opened for the first time. And we were just in a little tiny square. Yeah. Now, as I'm resetting the store, mm -hmm. actually, we did it today. We're thinking there's nowhere else to put anything. So, wow. yeah. It's, it's been, we're very, very grateful, and um, we're very lucky. Yes, that's for sure. wonderful. Congratulations to you Thank and you. to your staff. I know that it wouldn't be uh, the same without them as well. Every time I go in there, everybody's working hard. Yes. Trying, they trying to keep things looking nice yes. and appropriate and in their right places. Um, tell us a little bit about the fashions that you carry. I know um, every time I go in there, it seems like you've added something new. Um, we try to always only carry a very small number of each item. Mm -hmm. um, in a small town, um, it's important to us that you're not going to the same thing and ha everybody's wearing the exact same thing. Mm -hmm. um, so we carry juniors all the way up to size 3XL. Um, mm -hmm. We have baby clothes. Um, we have really just kind of added we've got a ton of shoes outerwear coats mm -hmm. essentials um really we can you know outfit you from top to bottom yeah. hats yeah. um lots of fun accessories that's um and it's all very affordable and um you know we like i said we just try to do a small number of uh -huh. each item so that everyone it's yeah. a different look all the That's time. Right. And you don't have to drive out of town to get it. How that about is that? correct. Isn't that wonderful? Yes. Yes, indeed. Now, I know, too, uh, with your store, like your merchandise changes from time to time. And Pretty I much know, every day we're yeah, getting shipment yeah. in now. So And we're getting close to derby time. Yes, ma'am. So I know there's some derby outfits that are coming in, and I'm looking at this one here behind us, and this one is very nice. You know, for derby, hats are very important. Right. So um, Gary was asking earlier, 
earlier about hats. I uh, I know he was wondering a little bit about the hat sizes. Do they come in different sizes, or will they fit just about anybody? They will fit just about anyone, and we can customize if um, we need to. We can put some foam in there, but most of them have elastic that you mm-hmm. can tighten on them. Plus, with uh, Kentucky weather, you never know what it's going to be on Oaks and Derby in that week. So. We can always pin it, but you can tighten it as tight as you need so that it doesn't blow away. And that is an issue that a lot of women deal with, a big hat and wind. Yes, so, indeed. <laughs> yes. Not, not a good combination there. I'm going to ask Jill to come over, be our first model. And I'm going to let you tell us what Jill is wearing. Come on, look close to me. Well, um, the Fascinators have been very popular, and they have continued to gain momentum. Obviously, Kate Middleton yes. um, looks amazing in those. And we sell, really, almost now, more Fascinators than we do hats. Wow. Um, when you're at the track all day long, a Fascinator is much easier to wear <laughs> than a hat. Yes. So, a lot of ladies are just deciding to go with easier Mm -hmm. and um, as you can see this one is very unique and we have them that start out at twenty dollars that are just we have some very basic ones that you could just put on a comb Mm -hmm. to something very extravagant Um, I made one for Jill a few years ago that was very um, eye-catching and unique (laughs) definitely so um, It was fun, and it's a way for, I mean, it's just fun for women to go out there and look great and feel great and have a super unique piece of fashion on their head. (laughs) (laughs) Well, tell us a little bit about her dress. Um, Navy is huge. Mm -hmm. Um, It has been big all year. It's not slowing down. Um, Stripes are always, this. the cut of this dress is very classic. It's beautiful with a little sleeve. Um, On the back, it has um, a little red on it for your detail with a zipper, Mm -hmm. um, just to give it something, a little bit of a kick. Uh And um, it's just very classic. Indeed. And uh, the red hat and the little red zipper, that just sort of pulls it together and makes it a lot, a little fancy, fancy yes. look there. You yes. look wonderful. Thank you, okay, thank you Jill. I'm going to ask Leah to come up, our next model. Okay. I love this dress. Um, Leah is a tall young lady, mm-hmm. so <laughs> this is a fabulous um, style dress for her. Um, Definitely the length is gorgeous, and um, you can never go wrong with black and white. Um, We can make hats. We can make them for any dress, any color. We have tons of feathers, um, (laughs) hundreds of feathers that have come in, and ribbon and netting, and we make them. If you don't like, Leah's wearing just a very basic black hat. Mm -hmm. We could throw um, Oaks as always, uh, breast cancer awareness, Mm -hmm. and it's a pink out. So even if you feel safer in a black and white, we could throw some pink feathers in there and you are ready for Oaks too. So she looks gorgeous. Yes, she does. Can you give us a twirl? Let us see the back of your dress. You look wonderful. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you very much. We're going to ask Jill to come back up, too. Both of you ladies stand up, stand over here so that we can see your wonderful dresses there here. Again, we want to congratulate you on the award Thank you. that you received. And uh, we wish you many, many more years Thanks. on the corner of Proctor Knot and Maine yes, in ma'am. Lebanon. Thank you. Mm-hmm.